Good morning everyone. It is a little bit later than usual and I have some whistling sausage dogs but the light this morning is so so pretty. My goodness me and there's also a little bit of like a chill in the air that was a bit unexpected to be honest and um We've had such a heat wave this last week, but to have this little bit of a chill, but still with the sunshine, makes me very excited. Um, I'm getting up to go for a dog walk before I go down to London. I've got two meetings in London today, one of which I think will be such a huge blast from the past for so many of you. And then the other one is a very exciting sort of um, planning meeting for Evergreen which I'm both nervous and excited about. Um, we are obviously, gosh, how long, we're like a month away from the launch date. And if you didn't know, I'm, I should probably put a link in the description box down below, but we sold out of all of the signed copies at Jaffa and Neil. And to be honest, I would never have imagined that anything like this would ever happen with my book, but we were contacted by Waterstones and Waterstones wanted their own set of signed copies and so we've provided them with some as well so if you did want to get um, signed, a signed copy I know a lot of people were messaging me like why can't we get it here and I need to get a signed copy in America and things like that and what I'll do is I'll make sure that I check where um, Waterstones will deliver to so if you want to get a signed copy in your country then hopefully you can. What is this? bit of hair that's kind of doing its own thing. Bit of a surreal experience to think that I will have signed copies in Waterstones. <laughs> like, what is life? What is, what is, what is life? What the hell? My goodness me. That is such a surreal, a surreal thing to, um, anyway, um, I'm going on a dog walk this morning and I'm wearing a new Beaufort and Blake shirt, which has been sat in my wardrobe for a good few weeks. And I was like, I feel like Beaufort and Blake is the only brand that I do this with. I'm like, no, Lydia, do not touch it before your video with them. Do not touch it because you ruin it. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. And then I wore one already. And um, I have no willpower. But this, oh my gosh, if ever you want to get something from Beaufort and Blake, I don't even know if you can see, this is like a brushed cotton, but the softest, brushed cotton in sage green, of course, um, and these stunning horn buttons as well. This is the perfect layering piece. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a gilet over the top and go on my dog walk because there is a chill in the air and I need to get outside. I will link this down below. I obviously have some other bits and pieces to show you from both of Blake as well, uh, just as a heads up, but you know that I live in these kinds of things as the season turns. So in spring, summer, it was my cotton shirts and gilets. Then in summer, it was the linen shirts. And now it's these ones. And I have to say, I think this is my favorite season for both and Blake ever. I think that's just a given. So anyway, I'm gonna get some socks on and um, we are gonna head on a walk start the day which is not something I usually get to do before I go to London but today my my meetings are later on in the day which is a bit of a treat it means I go down a little bit later um, and it means that I get a morning to take my sausage snoots for a walk and you are going to see how happy and excited Barkley in particular gets when it's walk time because he just loves walk time Are you excited, Barky? You excited? Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're both excited. <laughs> Ready? 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 Oh my goodness me. Off you go. Off you go. Good morning, world. What a spectacular time to be alive. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful today. Come on, smallies! 
the fields have been recently ploughed, this field was looking particularly uh, sad. Come on, Barky! Come on! Tinkle? Come on, you're slowing me down! Come on! Good boys, come on! I am not putting this off a moment longer, okay? So before we head down to London, I have been itching. I, I mean it when I tell you, like, when these clothes arrived, okay, I'm like, can I, can I wear them yet? Can I just have a peek at them? Can I, what about, can I wear them today? No? Okay, oh damn it. <laughs> I literally wait for the, for the launch of Beaufort and Blake each season and I, I'm so shocked because it's one of the most eagerly awaited brands in my wardrobe and I get so excited for their pieces and I think that you guys do as well. And so I have been trying so hard and failing so hard at not wearing these items because I've already worn my stone uh, brushed cotton shirt. I've already worn my green brushed cotton shirt and here I am already wearing probably my favorite piece of them all, the oak shirt, which this, this always reminds me, and I think I've remembered this in a previous video and I've told you about this, but I remember when I was younger and I looked at my auntie and she was wearing a shirt, not dissimilar to this, and it was embroidered with like bunny rabbits and ducklings and things like that. And I remember thinking in my like teenage uh, state, I remember thinking, oh my God, that's so cringe. And now that I'm 35 years old, when I tell you that having things that you love embroidered on your shirt is quite possibly the pinnacle of joy. So this is the most beautiful shirt from Beaufort & Blake. By the way, I do have a discount code. It's Lydia15. It's valid from the 25th of September to the 25th of October. So you've got a whole month to use it. So if you're sort of sat there at the moment thinking, no, it's a little bit too warm for it, for it at the moment. I wanna use this a little bit later when I'm ready to start getting cozy. You can do that. I would say don't do that because um, just on my advice, I know that people get quite either angry at me or then they try and buy my clothes off me from Beaufort and Blake and I can't do that, okay, I can't. <laughs> so what I would say is that the discount code is Lydia15, it'll get you 15% off, so if you wanted to pick up anything new, you can do. I think that my, these clothes kind of speak for themselves with how much I wear them, whether it's their jeans and I know what you're thinking, yes. These jeans are Beaufort and Blake, and I would like to say that I feel like I manifested these jeans. <laughs> these are new in from Beaufort and Blake, and I'll tell you about them in a minute, but this shirt is like, I feel, this is my evergreen shirt, because some of you who have pre-ordered my book, when you receive it, you will understand how, first of all, heavily trees play a part in a lot of the lessons and learnings and teachings of um, evergreen in my book, but the oak tree in particular features heavily. And some of my absolute favorite parts and um, paragraphs and sections feature um, lessons from oak trees. And it sounds all bizarre and I know it will all make sense when, <laughs> when you have the book in front of you. But this is like, this is my evergreen shirt. Even though it's not green, it has touches of green on it. This is so, so special to me and I feel like I just want to wear it all the time and not wearing this in my vlogs up until this point has been so hard. So forgive me for my excitement, okay? Because it's, this is, I love it, okay? I love it. And it's got all of the little rusty, warmy textures in it so it goes in my wardrobe really, really well with my usual accessories that I can just throw on with them. Um, but this for me is something that you can pop with boots and also ballet flats if you want to. But for, I think I'd probably wear, them. like even with Dewberry boots, you know, if you're just walking to the pub, gilet on top, Dewberry boots, battered, covered in mud, absolute perfection. And especially with these new jeans. So these jeans are again, signature Beaufort and Blake high-waisted, which I absolutely love. I think that they're just so flattering, especially on someone like me. Super, super flattering. These are slightly different to my beloved white ones though, because these have a much more soft and stretchy texture. So if you're someone that wants to feel a bit more comfortable in jeans, I would generally tend to wear my white ones a lot so that they would soften up, but they were still quite rigid. These are your soft, 
squat proof like <laughs> best friend when it comes to jeans and perfect for wearing with shirts um, I love a classic white cotton Beaufort and Blake shirt with this but for me this outfit is the shirt is this season's sheep jumper okay that I've said it <laughs> I am coining this the number one because even this with just a plain green gilet over the top is going to add such a wonderful layer to an outfit. And I don't know if it's just me, but this season, I'm gonna be spending as much time walking to pubs in muddy puddles, raining, whatever, with the dogs, and I want my clothes to be soft, comfortable, durable, that still make me feel nice, and it's so bizarre that Beaufort and Blake do all of that for me. So anyway, I wanted to show you these. I'll pop on some um, little ballet flats with them, just so you can see that if you're like a ballet flat person for around the house, I think I get my ballet flat obsession from my grandma. She's always in ballet flats and she always looks super chic in them and she always has been. Even when I lived with her, she was always tottering around her house in a pair of ballet flats, so it's probably where I get it from. But um, that's just an option, obviously, going out, you can wear um, boots or what have you. Whatever suits you is, is what I would say uh, to go for. So comfortable, I'll link these down below, but um, my code is Lydia15, just as a reminder. But I've got more to show you, so don't go anywhere. I've calmed myself down a little bit, okay? <laughs> I get myself so excited about these things. Um, but this is a look that I think so many of you are going to love. If you've already got the suede jeans from Beaufort and Blake, then I feel like this jumper is such a cozy addition and a really casual, comfortable, but still very put together look. Now I'm undecided, whether to go for my usual. Obviously in the transition between summer and autumn, ballet pumps still work super well. And I think that this is such an easy to layer look, like a blazer over the top of this would be such a good option. But obviously as it gets colder, you can pop boots on with this. I've got tan boots and things like that that will go with this really nicely. But I think this is just fantastic and such a comfortable jumper. Like, it just hangs perfectly. And if you want to, you can do a little tuck in the front just to create a bit of shape. But for me, this is a perfect, everyday, comfortable look that I think both and Blake just specializes in. A beautiful knit jumper is always a good idea at this time of year as well. And this one is perfect for popping layers underneath it as well. So if you want a cashmere base layer underneath, this works really well. But also you could go like ivory skirt with this as well for something a little bit dressier. I always love the look of like a, let's try it. <laughs> So something a little bit different, maybe if you're working in London that day or you just want something a little bit more uber feminine, but you want to be warm and cozy, but still you're not ready to put away your longer skirts just yet. I think this is so sort of autumn vibes, but still super, super feminine, which I love and comfortable as well. I think the ballet flats look kind of, it brings it into a more modern era as well, which I think is really, really lovely. And I love that it doesn't give like a really bulky waist because even though this is really cozy and a beautiful knit, um, it's not really bulky. So I don't feel too like, <laughs> like I've got so many layers on. Um, and I think this looks really lovely. So yeah, this was just an option, bit of a wild card, a bit different for a bit of both and Blake uh, styling, but I think this is a really versatile one that will look good under like blazers, coats, waterproof jackets, but also with those more feminine touches as well. So I thought I'd include it. Following closely behind on my favorite oak evergreen shirt that I have dubbed it is this one. So this is like an oatmeal brushed cotton, but I would say that this is cashmere in a shirt form and it's not cashmere, but it feels almost softer than some cashmeres that I've ever had. This is by far, it feels like you're wearing a pair of really wonderful brushed cotton pajamas, but during the day. And I have found this to be one of the most versatile pieces in the new collection from Beaufort and Blake. And you'll know I get so much wear out of these shirts, but this colorway is for me, it sets my little autumn color palette um, on fire basically because I definitely suit those more off-white shades but if you're wanting to go for that brighter autumn white 
winter white kind of vibe, but you don't want to go all white. I'm going to just drop this down a bit so you can see the colour a bit more because it might come across as white, but it is like a, an ecru ivory style shirt, which for me just works so much better on my colour palette. And I think it works well with a pair of white denim jeans as well. It gives it that very, very subtle contrast. Now I've not tucked it in because I actually feel like this is a really good way to, to style it personally. I always love it a little bit unbuttoned. If I can get a cami top underneath and unbutton it one more, I will do. I love that more relaxed look. At the moment, I don't actually have a cami underneath. I just have a bra, but we'll go with that. Always rolled up sleeves for me, but you, you do you, but rolled up sleeves for me. I just like that little bit of wrist. I, I feel like it makes me feel less um, bulky when I wear things that aren't fitted. Same with ankles. If I've got my wrists and I've got my ankles on show, I definitely feel a little bit more me. However, as it gets colder, you don't get a choice. So for a sort of casual look, I think this is really lovely. However, obviously, Beaufort and Blake has so many options to go with it as well. And one of them I think is so cute. Option number one, again, bringing in those more autumnal tones. Get this over my head and ruin my hum bun that is already ruined, to be honest. There we go. Picks it back in. Now, I always like the collar tucked in on these. I feel like it looks a little bit more presentable. Now for this, I wouldn't necessarily go for the two-tone bag, but I'd have the little bit of shirt out at the bottom as well. And then I'd probably go different tone, like so. So this is just another element that you can add to your outfit if you want another layer because I feel like in autumn especially like the transition from summer to autumn and the transition from autumn to winter layering is always the best way to give yourself options in the changes of the seasons so that you're not too cold so that you're not too hot just a simple layering addition can really make all of the difference and this is a little cute one but this is what I love about it because this is like having a jumper, however we've got another piece. This is the addition of their Stonehaven tweed blazer, which is unlike any blazer I have in my collection. And I really felt like this was such a good addition because this has a bit more of a Parisian sort of chic style. Now, again, I always like to dress things down a little bit and I've gone for some round toe Chanel flats to give it that um, Parisian feel. Now you can obviously go Chanel classic flap like this. I love the collar tucked in. And what this particular piece here means is that you can go for that slightly preppier look. Let's push all this back out of the way. <laughs> you can go for that slightly preppier look whilst not getting bulky on your arm. So you've still got that body warmth, that option for layering you've got the softness of the shirt and you've got the detail of this blazer. Now you can also sort of tuck things in as well. If you're more of a high-waisted girl, you can go for that style too and just tuck them into the, to the suede jeans, which I actually feel like makes it even more chic. So if you're someone that maybe doesn't wanna show your tummy, then you can wear it tucked out. If you're someone that is more flattered by a high waist, then this is a really great option. And, oh my God, I actually love this outfit. Oh, I actually think this is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is autumn. Imagine this with like a scarf. This is actually autumn in an outfit. And obviously this is probably a bit more of a dressy bag, but if I wanted to go for a more professional bag, a more workwear bag, this one works as well. Oh my gosh, I love this outfit so much. These jeans, they just go with everything. <gasps> little vintage belt in there as well. You could, if you wanted to go all out, add a little scarf as well, but then you're going full regal and I'd probably be accused of cosplaying, but I would love a little silk scarf just here. <laughs> in fact, Beaufort and Blake have one coming as well. So a little silk scarf just to sort of tuck that in. I like the sort of Parisian, I slept in my hair vibe. Gorgeous, oh, this is so good. But 
of course, you don't have to have this more preppy look. You can also just go for the shirt underneath if you want to as well. That is also another look. But this blazer, I think I need to show you it up close because it's the fabric that I really loved about this. It's got this beautiful chocolate and biscuit color and then black as well. So it makes it really, really versatile with the tones that you can wear with it. As you can see, I've got a few different tones going on, but all very, very complimentary, but you could add a little pop of color. Should I just do it? I feel like I'm just gonna do it because Mr. Millen Gordon always has neckties and um, I get very jealous. Let's do it. I think I might need a V-neck option though instead. Okay. <laughs> I have completely just shoved this down there, so work with me here. But I just want you to know that when I'm no longer on YouTube and I'm living in my dilapidated, like really slowly renovated old farmhouse somewhere deep in the countryside where no one can find me, this is what I'm going to be wearing every day. And nobody is ever going to be able to accuse me of anything because no one will know. I'll just walk around the sheep's fields and the chicken coop with my wellies on and this outfit and nobody will know. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I really think it's such a lovely, elegant touch, but I know that this is gonna really, really rub some people up the wrong way. So I'm gonna take it out and just go for the sheep Parisian look and leave it at that. <laughs> I love it though, okay? Even with like some water sunshine and some sunglasses, I just blooming love it. This is such... Carrie, if I don't wear this outfit out somewhere very soon, I'm going to be angry because I just think this is so cute. And I feel so comfortable. This blazer is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I feel like this would suit you as well, Carrie. Like, this is such a Parisian vibe. You, this with like a pop of colour red dress underneath it, you look lovely in this. I also think this will look really lovely overdresses as well. Anyway, I've got, more sh I've got a few more shirts to show you, but I thought I'd show you that little ensemble as well because they got me very excited. I think it's safe to say you're probably going to be seeing me wearing this shirt this way though the most. Just a shirt, a bag, some sunnies, this is my happy place. Autumn, I am ready for you. Um, but I'll just show you the other colors of this shirt as well, but I want to show you that up close because I feel like you need to, you need to experience the softness because I don't think I've ever experienced anything as soft. But love, and also a little jumper. You could do the red jumper over the shoulders. The possibilities are endless. You see what I mean? A little injection of autumn red. Possibilities are endless. Love. The green one, which I think you're going to see me wear most in a more casual setting. But again, I love the contrast um, of it against the white jeans. It feels crisp, but still country, which I feel like I need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> this is my usual vibe. I feel... Just the loveliest when I wear things like this. So, I mean, not as lovely as when I'm wearing a dress, but I feel like, you know, you could go for a little basket bag. I could go full Jane Birkin style with this as well, which again, really good option. A little Amazon purchase. And then I'll show you the last one, which is the blue one. Every time I put one of these on, I'm like, no, this is gonna be the one that I wear the most. Um, but again, this has that real preppy vibe um, to it. So you can add, those more like ivory cable knits if you want to, and tan accessories. This is just such a great option. Again, you can tuck it in. You don't have to tuck it in. You can wear it loose and be super comfortable, but this is just my absolute favorite kind of vibe. So that is everything. I'll link everything in the description box down below along with the jeans and all of the other bits and pieces, and I hope you love it. And if you just buy anything, please buy one of these shirts because I feel like everybody needs this softness in their day-to-day -day life over the coming season because you'll just thank me for it so much. <laughs> I just know it. I know it. Anyway, I need to get ready for London. Let's go. Well, windows are open. It is a sunny, beautiful day today and I am ready to head to London. I'm wearing my Amelia Wiggs said dress again because it just feels lovely. It feels summery, but like really good for summer to autumn. Um, I've gone for my Chanel shoes, which 
obviously super old, and my black bag. Um, hair is freshly washed. Also, I have to tell you before I leave, we basically had a huge discussion about this over the weekend, and I feel like it's down to us to bring it back. But um, Lauren and her husband and, and Ali and I were all talking about like talcum powder, but like really lovely talcum powder. I mean, you can use the normal Johnson's and Johnson's if you want, but um, Lauren was like, oh my gosh, like it's just the most wonderful thing to use. And I was like, oh my God, I need this. Like just sort of like a little dusting <laughs> of lovely, talcum powder like this one is a lily of the valley um scented one or mouget as uh, the french would say and it is dusting powder and i just kind of like dusted around my little like bikini line and my life is made every time <laughs> every time i go to the toilet i'm like oh wow <laughs> now i got this one from amazon and it was about eight pounds i think but i have seen that joe malone do one and I think I might have to purchase that because I feel like this has been such a sort of old-fashioned thing but we're bringing it back literally we had this whole conversation about it and I was like I'm ordering it now in fact I've ordered some for Ali as well um because Ali loves all of those kind of like old grooming techniques this is one from Taylor of, of, of Old Bond Street and I think this is actually on um German Street now and we've been in there a few times it's like a men's grooming shop this is their sandalwood luxury talcum powder. So I got this for Ali when he gets back from his trip. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd let you know. I've also used my patisserie body oil, which is almost finished. And the fragrance I'm wearing today is Jo Malone English Pear and Sweet Pea. They've done it again. Honestly, if I was having a summer wedding and I could go back in time and do my wedding all over again, this would be my fragrance of the day, 110%. Which is probably a good time for me to tell you that today I am heading back to Halfpenny London. I'm going to see Kate and I, like, I feel like I might cry for the fact that I actually get to go and see her again because she is the most incredible human. But also, she must have watched my video or read an article I did, but I talked about how my Basque from my wedding day no longer fits me because I obviously changed my, um, I had my surgery over a year ago now. And um, she was like, right then, that means that we need to do something new. And so today I'm going for my first wedding dress appointment with Kate Halfpenny. And I feel so lucky, like it actually makes me emotional. I feel so lucky that I got to do this with her and that I get to have her as, as my like, wedding companion in this way <laughs> it's so strange saying that but like i just feel so lucky so i'm i'm a bit sort of giddy with excitement so i'm just going to get myself in the taxi now and head to london because otherwise carrie's going to have a hernia but i'm so excited to go there i'm so excited to just get to do this again because if you're a bride to be if you're if you've just got married you'll know if you're if you're doing this at the moment wedding dress trying on is probably the most special thing other than actually getting married and if you're doing it now, savor every moment that you have, trying things on, playing with different styles, just do it because you realize that you're only doing it once and it's so, so short-lived. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. Spirits of perfume. Okay. Got a talked for Lula. <laughs> oh my goodness, she is actually taking over this entire muse. Like, this is another new half penny window. I actually can't believe this, and I've literally, this dress. Oh my gosh, this dress, that's good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But here we are back at the original, and I feel very lucky because today I'm gonna be seeing the new refit of the half penny stores before anyone else. For anyone that watched my wedding vlogs about nearly six years ago now, you will realize that this is very, very different inside and I love it. This feels very, very Lydia Milan-esque. Like this is very pared back. It was very dramatic before, which I loved and it really made the gowns pop. But this feels just so soft and elegant, very much in line with um, Halfpenny as a brand. And there are 
so many new pieces in here. I'm so excited. You have no idea. It's like also just getting a chance to try on different things from her as well is just going to be so exciting. But there's puffy skirts. There's high necklines. Oh my goodness. This is just this tool. <gasps> This is just my dream. I could just do this every day of the week. This is so much fun. So that is just super simple. I know. And then there is, there's a really, really simple long oh, wow. that you can have yeah. a long, um, an overskirt put on it and then that could come off down to a very simple dress. Yeah, I love that. I feel like I saw you do another long sleeve top. What's called that? that long sleeve top? Foxglove? Foxglove as a dress. Well, have we got any long sleeve? We've got long sleeves that can go onto anything as well, so you can still have your wintery so long kind of sleeves. Like yeah, but as a sleeve. Oh wow! Oh, I quite love Fun, because right? what I'm sort of thinking is like uh, like something like a simple Henson or um, or like sweet I love like this next time. Yeah, see, I, I, I love this shape as well. This is just I, like this. You would be surprised. We need to put this on because yeah. you would actually be really surprised how beautiful that is, too. I mean, it looks These are all a mixture of sizes because we like to cater for all. Which one's the Charlotte? Charlotte is not dissimilar to that chiffon one there, yeah. but it's in um, the silk crepe, so it's matte and it, it has the same drape but no sleeves. Right. So it's, it's actually quite similar to this dove but without such a front, yeah, so it's yeah. very much, Softly. yeah, I can show you, I can grab, oh, there she is, um, that's Charlotte. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, so I all drapes. Yeah, very I think good. I slide this one on. Yes, yeah. I'm I did, just I surprised because it's, it is literally one of my faves. Yeah, yeah. You just start compiling a list of what you're going to try on. Yeah. When the day comes. Dahlia's shirt. I'm not trying on until there's a ring on this no, finger. No, absolutely, you can't, but still, just, um, and then there's a ruffle <laughs> rose, which is Wowzers. a, um, a sort of a different version of yours, but instead of it being the oh, lion yeah. frills, so it's, cool. we have the embroidery with the raw. Yeah, the, it was the rawness of yeah. it that I just, oh. Yeah. This, you could wear over this, with your little sleeves yeah. and then you can whip this off down to that yeah so yes. you that's the sort of thing if you want to try yeah oh my gosh okay i feel like you need to do like a body like what a body you know, I was just, so because if me, you did a body this. for black carpet events where you could see the silhouette of well, legs was a body, wasn't yes it? Yeah. yeah 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 but one that's like it's like just super clean cut yeah like almost short. like a almost short like a high leg kind of one yeah like a short shorty boy shorts short. like a boy short so that you've got not got bum cheeks on show no, no, but then just the elegant. pure silhouette yeah. of the legs through yeah, that so you've just got the yeah <gasps> but if someone's got actually there's a, a little skater dress that i'm bringing to show you because i think you'll like that and we've also done this tuxedo dress mini that would look killer on you too we've just launched them both on their supporters they keep selling out like so this is a really cute little Skate dress I designed years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I could spend just like a whole day. So this here. is the um, this is the top of this kind of thing, but with but with a cute little cap sleeve. But it could be done oh, wow. if that's like that might be too fruity. That no, looks no, so no. cute with the trousers. I know. Yeah. yeah. So that would be so fabulous with the wide leg. Because I still look at those pictures when I wore that the. Full day before suit yeah. for the Clay de Poe event, oh, yes. and it was like that. That the, the basque that I wore then spectacular. Then the blazer over the shoulders. Yeah. I still got my trousers. Yeah. I still wear those trousers so much. They're like they are. I just felt like mm, the colour. No, it's beautiful. This is new too. Yeah, yeah. This because that's so like, this is one of my is, Yeah. It literally got finished yesterday, so wow. you're not going to be able to use sound effects on that. Yeah. One. So yeah, they're coming back to tweak that. So this is the Laxi. Oh yeah, that was. So that's a blazer dress. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's a mini dress that we've done. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow. It's remarkable in its length. You think it looks. Wow. Yeah. So that's the blazer. Of oh, the blazer. That you want to play the pose, wow. but yeah, in a blazer. Yeah. This. Um, this is just wow. 
I saw this, I saw this on Let's Support It and I was but like... I have it in a midi to the knee. Yeah, you've got to do it in a midi. Yeah. Because for me, this is like the ultimate, if this was a midi, I would wear, I, if I was, you know, fully getting married again, and I was having a hen party and things like that, this would be my hen party. Yeah. Like fully my hen party dress. Yeah. Wow. I cannot believe you're the first person to be doing this in this I feel like it's meant to be. Let's just make this happen. This, it was meant to be. The decoration was in here till God knows what time last night. <laughs> Have you got the um, uh, uh, vlogging camera on the table? Yes, I do. Perfect, perfect. This is not her first radio. No, no. Oh, I, she's done this before. Yeah, yeah. Right, you can reveal. Ready? ready? Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Pretty huge. Wow. Oh my gosh. I wasn't sure if you needed extra here, but actually I really I like it. I feel like it. it works. Yeah. So they could go up. I've pinned them yeah. down. Yeah. I feel like it's almost like, hello. There's somebody looking in. Are you going to, you've not, she's not met Fee, has she? Yeah. We have met. Yeah. Oh, Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's really nice to meet you properly. Oh my God, you look amazing. <laughs> <You're probably. laughs> Because I don't want to have just one wedding dress in my life. <laughs> a message to say, now her body's changed, what would her wedding dress be? And then we thought, it's a big wedding anniversary coming up. Shut up. So we were like, let's, yeah. just do a, let's just do a little, uh, little wedding dress. Yeah, so we just, on. yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a dream. Uh, do you know who I, I feel like an actual princess in this? Like yeah, a real look, life one. Disney yeah, you look princess. like a Disney princess in it. Like if, but if in I, a, like a classic. Yeah, yeah. If I had like a, a white, an ivory headband with my hair in like a, a bun, yeah. back. Wow. Like a little. It's delicious, this little frilly. That's, isn't that, it? Disney, that is like the, the classiest Disney princess I've ever seen. It's so Even if you do myself. say so, you're. <laughs> I mean the dress, not me. <laughs> this is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Oh my God, I love that. That's also very princessy. So this neckline for me, that's just... It needs to be tighter, but... Um... That's stunning. Like the simplicity of this, with the, the, the drama of the skirt, and then this touch of detail in the peplum, because it's not, you know, it's not just without it. It's it's got this like added, this added like touch, which just feels so like it looks so cute yeah. when dancing. That yeah. <laughs> wow. And then you could do something like. See, I love that you can do. I love add that. A big beautiful bow to the shoulder, or we can have this. At the back. At the back. Wow. Just punctuate. Oh my God, it's so it's, it's so clever. But this is what I mean. Like the, what she, what Kate does is just in all of the wedding dress appointments that I have had at the time, it was like the versatility of your pieces and how you can just change anything to add someone's touch of personality. It's well, just I just want you to be the designer of your own dress to some degree, and I'm giving you the tools, and that's that's what the magic is. The bow. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> the bow. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't even think you need it with this simplicity of that corset and skirt, but it could be a piece that you add, or you can just imagine shooting this in like an old. Chateau in France yeah. and just this bow and the, the dress and everything and you're just like this is me This is how I live my life I'm just going to throw it out there that bow you should do in the same colours as your collection edits because over a pair of trousers on red carpets yeah. and things <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, Some people have worn it in the front with a pair of trousers oh. when they have right wow. You can always go okay. even jumbo Shut like, up, like, look at that dress. Dress. Oh my yeah. god where it was wow. like jumbo, jumbo, wow. and yeah, or jumbo back here. Wow, like it's kind of nuts, right? Yeah, that is. You didn't have this when I. No, no. no. I don't know how you do it. Like how? But do you nothing still... is needed. It's almost like you're just all needs tightening up that corset. Oh wow. Okay, okay, next one, next one, next, next one. one, next one. I said Dior already, did I? No, I didn't. 
Oh wow. And it's got pockets. <laughs> it's got pockets. Oh wow. Dude meme. Oh, that's so stunning. Wow. I like with like a headband for this, you know, like the halo headbands. Yeah. We do have gloss as well. Yeah. Do you mean to opera gloss? Yeah. 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 Wow. So tie it in these all up and do them in a a um, a stretch like the corset, so yeah. you could. Oh wow! Yeah. I don't know if you need them. I know you like the winter it's almost like do you know what i think this might sound so weird but like a, you know like a jacket yeah with like a collar because this is so paired yeah. back you'd almost like have the jacket and the collar but you know how i did during the day with long yeah. sleeves and then um changed so you put the jacket and the collar on for the main ceremony and then yeah. the bow for the party in the in the evening do you want to grab a net the neptune lexi yeah because then we can also try that on. We do have amazing sleeves, plain and embellished. Why do um, I have the feeling, a very, very sinking tummy feeling, that this is going to be a vow renewal that needs to come together in four months? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Imagine. <laughs> do I get another um, bachelorette part? Oh my gosh, the, then the ring needs to be done. <laughs> I'm getting married again. <laughs> <laughs> Ali has no idea. The gloves, wow. That is such a vibe. The facial expressions being called through this. <laughs> okay. Honestly, this is the, like, when you both get married, I hope you get to do this as much as possible, especially here, because this is just... Hmm. You've tried them all on now. <laughs> no, she but... definitely has a no. over 600 samples within the business from gloves to belts, yeah. Wow. But this clumps over you. Do I and then it fits? Oh my god, the, the bows and everything. Oh wow. But you wouldn't do both. Though. No, no, no. This one on. <laughs> you have a whole new Kate Half Penny wardrobe. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Isn't it cute? That is so cute. And I'm not even an above the knee person really anymore. Oh, this is be. like. This with some cute little like boucle, ivory boucle shoes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Chic. Even over the uh, really the good pencil Mercado trouser. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a long line suit jacket then if you didn't want to wear it as a mini dress. I feel like the first lady in yeah. this. Like if I was have, to have um, trousers. Okay, Carrie, I'm going to get it on. Get it on. <laughs> Okay, we have just finished up at Kate Halfpenny's and now we have arrived to my publisher's house. This is the publisher's house, like it's going like I'm going around for tea or something. The publishing house um, for my book publishers. I've never been here before, so this is very exciting. Um, so we're gonna head inside for a very long and exciting meeting. And you can't even see me anyway, so I don't know what I'm doing, but I've just had the best time. But I'll update you later. As you know, in London is always really, really like full on. I wasn't he. You were you were oh, I just love him. He's <laughs> so and he was so gummy and happy and just like thrilled to be Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, very happy puppies. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> you chewed his collar off, Barkley. No. No, Barkley. <sighs> He chews off Porter's collars. And I thought, I need to go back to blooming spraying them again, but that one's gone. I have to get him a new one. Barkley. That's why Porter can't have nice things. Um, hi. <laughs> that was a very, very hectic day. And I should have known better. <laughs> and I apologize. Okay, because I know that you really, really want me to show you things in real time sometimes. But I started off the day very obviously with um, with Kate Halfpenny, which for me was just a dream come true. Like a dream come true to be back there in her atelier and just trying on all of her wonderful creations. Because I don't think that... Um, I don't think that there's any kind of, obviously many bridal designers have their own personal quirks, but 
Kate's quirks and her unique, her uniqueness is just how you would have seen her, like just adding a bow here, adding a sleeve, adding a, a, a different skirt. Like everything is so just, it's just unreal what she's able to do with just a simple classic look and then change it into a Kate Halfpenny extraordinaire of a piece, I guess. And it was just, I, I mean, we were kind of rushed at the end. So I think I'm just gonna have to go back because, which I am never moaning about. Any excuse to just try on her pieces is amazing. But just to kind of explain to you that this is going to be, this is sort of, it's the continuation on the story. Like my body has changed so much since my wedding day and my old wedding dress no longer fits me and not in the, the, the usual sense. Obviously my body has changed and I've changed as a person. And so I think what we're sort of toying with is just doing something fun together and designing something fun together and coming up with a new, the new dress, I guess. Um, but we were saying that we kind of feel like now I need to do my vow renewal now because we're gonna do it in 10 years, but maybe we do it in five years, who knows? But yes, it's um, a dream. Like I fell in love, I've always said this, I fell in love with Kate first. Her designs were just like the bonus because she is wonderful. And then her designs are so unique and so versatile. Like you can wear some, some of her pieces in, in day-to-day -day life. Like so many of my tops that I have of hers and the trousers and all of those kinds of things are so versatile that I can wear them with like a pair of really cool trousers or whatever. Anyway, then we went over to the Orion Spring office for a very big meeting um, around everything book related. We were planning for some potential events, then I have better, I'll leave it alone. Just hearing things about like window displays that are planned and some photo shoots that I've got that I am so excited about, you have no idea. But the most, the, the funniest thing that I find about these meetings that I'm having is like, I keep saying, I've never done this before. And so I just kind of look to the publishers and I'm like, they're talking about something and I'm like, we're happy about this? Okay, we're happy about this, great, fantastic, woohoo, we're happy about this. Because I, I don't know, this is a world that I've never been in and it's so different to anything I've ever experienced that I really feel like I'm like learning on the ground in real time and people ask me questions like, you know, are you doing this? And I'm like, I don't know. And people ask me, so many different questions and I'm like, I genuinely like, I'm just really doing my best to lean into what I don't know in this situation. Like I have this book that I wanted to bring to life and this whole side of thing, I know nothing about. And so yeah, I just sit there and they talk about things and I'm like, uh-huh, yay, go us. <laughs> and we were talking about like send outs and you know, just all of this stuff that you just don't even think about when you think it's just a book, you just put it out there and that's it. But like, no, so much to consider, but I just feel so lucky that I'm getting to do it in this capacity. Like I don't think I've ever felt more lucky that I get to experience this with so many incredible people as well. And just, just really like such a lovely day. I also took cake for everyone today. I, I dispensed cake on my travels, so Kate Halfpenny got some cake, the girls at Orion got cake, everyone had cake, and that to me is just like, my heart is so full. I've got to, keep, to bake another cake this evening because it is my um, assistant's birthday this weekend, so I need to make another cake, and actually, the girls in the office love my cake, even though we've got some on there. Is it silly to bake another cake when there's cake there? I don't know. Because there's enough for us there. Oh, I feel like I should bake. I'll bake another cake. It is all go at the house today. Mr. Millen Gordon is on lavender trimming duty and I'm going to go through and select any lavender that I want to keep. Maybe it can be made into little pouches for scenting the house. But actually, you've done such a good job. See? Yeah, look, it still looks really lovely. It doesn't look like... I'm going to um, clean out the beds as well. So, like, go through all of the 
soil and just give it a sweep out. And... Did you use any particular technique or you just domed the lavenders with your shears? Well, <gasps> you chopped a rose. I chopped a rose up because it was going, one of them was going up. Oh. <laughs> go um, I just twist and cut. So I grab a, a bunch, twist and then cut. Amazing. So a bit more of an even shape. Looks very romantic, our lawn right now, with roses and lavender strewn all over it. <laughs> uh, if you go to the kitchen, I've just put your bunch in there. Amazing. In the kitchen, I am prepping for chutney making. So we currently have two kilograms of my little tiny tomatoes here. My bigger ones are starting to turn, but I don't have so many of those. And um, we have had some sad losses. So I definitely need to kind of get on these today as well. But my first job for the day is to sort through the lavender, select any bunches that I want to keep. And Ali is working on the garden because the garden is his pride and joy. And he likes to do the lawn and make it look nice before it rains. We had four eggs from the hens this morning and very much enjoying our house and how lovely it is. I'm also wearing the softest, most lovely, Beaufort and Blake shirt. I just steamed it, so I apologise. Um, the length of them is perfect for wearing with leggings and boots. So when I pop on some boots to go outside, it just feels a bit effortless, doesn't it? And then obviously you can add your gilets on top. But when I tell you that these are the softest, the softest shirts I have ever, ever owned, these are 100% cotton. They come in this beautiful like biscuit color, sage green, Grey, I've got the blue upstairs. I think the grey was actually a few years ago, but Gemma had the grey on in um, my autumn get ready, uh, autumn like home video. And like, <laughs> great minds think alike is all I can say because they are exquisite. Such a great length as well. And as I said, my uniform when I'm at home, dependent on the season, my shirt kind of changes. So in spring, summer, it's more of a linen shirt. And then at this time of year, I generally move into those thicker, cozier cottons. I feel like I'm doing my job today somewhere in Provence. How beautiful. I feel like my husband just knows exactly what he's doing. He's already sorted all. Oh, look, and the bumblebees are still enjoying them. A the little Mill and Gordon bee there, little fluffy kins. Oh, Ali, yeah. I didn't tell you yesterday. You're probably going to be mad at me, to be honest, but I um, rescued and um, nursed back to health a hornet myself on my own. It was in my greenhouse and it was dying and I managed to pick it up and put it on the sundial and I, because I thought it might have wanted some water. And are you using our lavender for the, the hens? Yeah, how lovely. Um, and so instead I, I went and got a grape from my vines and I squished the grape and I put it there and he sat on that grape for an hour and then flew off. It was all he needed. Yeah. Inside Mr. Mill and Gordon's, Mr. Mill and Gordon's almost finished shed. He's done a lot of work in here to make it very beautiful but he needs to get the cabinetry done but he is currently making the dust bath for the hens using some of our lavender and that is a very good use for our clippings today. I was actually just Googling if there was any sort of uses that we could use my mouldy tomatoes for as well. If there's like anything that we don't know, but it does just say that it's really good for the compost heap. So yeah. that is quite good. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you, but we've started our own compost as well down the side of the greenhouse. And it's been Mr. Mill and Gordon's project because chicken poo is like, basically creates liquid gold for um, the garden. So we thought we'd give give it a first go and I will show you how it's getting on. It's down here, a little beehive shaped compost bin. Sometimes I get little wafts of it, but hopefully it won't smell too bad. Also, I can show you my little crown princes coming in, although we did have one of them fell off and died and it looks like this one's gonna die as well. I don't know what's happening there, but we've still got some coming through, even though this is very late in the year. But I'll just use the littler ones um, for other bits around the house. So getting a sort of fourth growth in the wildflower. This carpet of greenery looks so beautiful in here. Do you want to take these tomatoes and put them on the compost heap now? Okay. Oh wow. 
So this was only put on last last week. But oh wow! It's, it's already started, hasn't it? Well, It's amazing how much grass and hay we're getting rid of and it just works itself down. To yeah, it just flattens, doesn't it? We need to wet this, it's too dry. <laughs> you okay, Porty, you're helping. Yes, helping sausage. Always a helping sausage. Ali is now collecting more herbs to mix into the dust bath for the chickens. So we've got some mint. <laughs> Daddy long legs. <laughs> um, oh, it smells lavender, amazing. Cat mint. mint, lavender, cat mint. Do you put any sage in there? Rosemary. You can put rosemary in it. That's it. You tend to put just that. Oh, it smells amazing. So that's um, mud and. Um, so this is that um, pow chicken red mite powder. Yeah. Soil compost. Yeah. And. Lavender. And wood. It's, it's ashes from ashes, the that's it. burner and from the um, barbecue and wood fire. Which is such a great use for that stuff, because what were we doing with it before? Um, Just throwing it away? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of time for the hens. So we've got some rosemary going in. My goodness me, the luckiest hens. They love this. Yeah, they do. They go through it so quickly, don't they? Mm. Kicking it about everywhere. The very last ingredient. Well, a little bit more lavender <laughs> and some cat mint. <laughs> so aggressive with everything. <laughs> As you'll know, Ali's favourite saying is speed and agility. <laughs> so everything is done very fast with zero finesse. <laughs> Gosh, the rains are about to come, aren't they? Yeah, that's why I'm rushing them. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Bucky, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> right, last stop. Come to the barbie. I'll come back and tidy those beds up in a bit. <laughs> Guys, smells incredible. Makes me want to mix something of like my own herbs. The many uses for the big green egg. Oh my goodness, they're going to be so happy. Okay, so this is their dust bath. We want to get them a bigger one, but we're gonna, when we go to an antiques um, fair, I think we'll try and find them a big something or other then. Oh, ladies, you're in for such a treat. Lovely. Perfect, oh. jobs are good in. There you go, ladies. Although they have made their own little dust bath under the trees, haven't they? Yeah, they like that tree. We may yeah. put another one in there. I'm happy to put more trees in for them. You little madam are a little hellraiser. I have never known a chicken like you in my life. Snowdrop and Porty. Porty, stop eating the poo through the, through the fence. Hello, Beatrix. <laughs> well, you tell him, Snowdrop. Porty, you are disgusting. <laughs> schnoot to schnoot. So I've just asked Ali to build a little oak shelf for me in here because I can't chat to you guys when I'm in the um, chicken coop anymore because we swapped the gate over. Oh, that is the door. My neighbour's just come to collect some bits and pieces. Ooh. As I was saying, he's already building me my little shed, my little uh, shelf for the chicken coop. Well done, babe.
we have just had our neighbour Julie over who's probably one of the most knowledgeable um, gardeners in our area I'd say she literally knows everything and she's just been talking us through a little bit a few little bits that we can do in uh, the garden so Ali's list has gone from like this to this um, but he has also just finished my little shelf for me. So he's very kindly made me a shelf again so that I am able to collect the eggs with you in the morning. Um, he's made it out, out of the leftover oak and he's also done me the favour of bringing the water supply into the coop because at the moment I was pulling it over the fence. Now it's so much easier. We're going to add some more trees in here as well and tidy up the garden a little bit too. So yeah it's so good having a handy husband i can literally be like can you just put this here and he's like yep yeah. i'm like Next port of call is to have a little bit of a tidy up of the beds. So I've just been lopping back some of the catmint, pulling out any weeds and removing any dead leaves and foliage just to give it a new lease of life. Well, just a little bit of a haircut for the flower beds, but it's looking a lot more uniformed and tidy. We've got one more bed to do. Tell you what, the, the fragrance from Catmint is just wonderful. When you're cutting it, it's like, oh. We have now been rained off, but nothing will scupper Mr. Mill and Gordon's plans. So he is now essentially pressure washing and leaf blowing the patio at the same time. I've never seen such efficiency. How satisfying is that? No, oh, that didn't take us long at all. We're obviously battling against the trees at the moment because the leaves are starting to drop. But I definitely think it's going to be a warm one by the fire. The satisfaction of a beautifully clean patio and trimmed back beds. My goodness me. Come and join us, little ones. Come and join us. Same line every time. Yeah. So that is the finished garden tidy up for today. for today anyway definitely need to um string up those yep. ujimi flips still but it looks fantastic doesn't it it's crazy to think how this used to look isn't it yeah the lavender little balls are yeah fine, aren't they? they're not too offensive no i like them i think they work really nicely we'll see. see what oh yeah very nicely done and those stripes are you very proud of those stripes <laughs> they're okay they're not perfect you need to get better at the width consistency I think they look good. so now all that's really left to do down here is to decide what we're going to put here pots and furniture was the plan yes but we need to find the furniture don't we or decide and the pots you could do it so you just put i mean it depends but you could do like a two seater there oh you want to put like a sofa i was thinking armchairs perfect a little table yeah like two chairs and a table i think we need to go searching for like a antique table of some sorts <laughs> it looks lovely <laughs> just needs to dry out now good oh good oh well, that was a very, very productive day at the house. However, I needed a nap halfway through. And so I ended up having a nap. I was about to start my new book, which my new book is Little Wing by Freya North. I think I showed you this one when I bought it. And it is it, it was the little tagline at the top that said, <laughs> it was the little tagline at the top that said we all belong somewhere and to someone and it says a terrific drama of secrets and so cleverly plotted by graham norton um tender and touching 
good housekeeping. So I think I'm going to start that. Ali is just jumping in the bath. He tackled the front beds. Um, and I napped and then I made dinner. And it was kind of a rogue dinner of tuna, sweet potato and sautéed broccoli and French beans from the garden, which actually turned out really nice. So, yeah, all good. Anyway. <laughs> These two are roughhousing. So I'm going to grab my little thing. I literally use this so much for reading at night because we always have the lights really low in the, in the living room. Do you mind? Porter? Barkley? Barkley, you just had Porter's cheek in your mouth. Yes, I think that's right. You need to separate slightly. Um, I use this little Amazon Udemy flip very, very much when reading because it's just this little light and you can have it as bright as you want. I'm going to have it like that. And I generally only ever use one of them and it just lights up my book where I'm reading it. So very, very handy, I have to say. It's one of my favourite things and people, Ali always gets it out and shows people when we've got people over because he thinks it's embarrassing, but the reality is it's very handy. I feel very old. 